Right, now I'm going to show the settings I'm using for HDR content. And at the moment I'm using uh, the Apple TV app. And it has Terminator on. And as I always, uh, always mention, uh, the picture you see on YouTube, uh, it's not the same uh, what you'll see live when you use these settings. Uh, so this is in HDR content, so it's not the Dolby Vision. And here we have Terminator 2 through the Apple TV app. So in this case, I have tested a lot of settings regarding the HDR because I haven't found anything that I have been really happy about. So <laughs> I have done the forbidden things. So I have uh, used uh, filmmaking mode and I have tweaked it to my likings because I think when I use it, it's something that if I use, for example, um, some other modes, like, um, is, is it cinema home mode? Uh, I don't give, it's not the same result. So in filmmaking mode, I use Ule Light 100, Contrast 100, Brightness 50, Sharpness 10, Color 64, Tint, it's zero. Advanced controls. Dynamic contrast is off. Uh, dynamic tone mapping. I have it on on. Uh, if you don't have any lightning af at all, I should have it on off. But if you're for me, sometimes watch the TV at at the day or in the er early evening when you still have any light out uh, then I would recommend it to have it on, on. after that super resolution uh, it's turned off color gamut auto white balance I have the color temperature to warm one and I don't change anything more settings here on the white balance after that we go back and go into color management system and also here I haven't changed anything and the peak brightness I have it on high and also here if you don't have any light at all in the background so uh, for me some lightning around yeah, you can have it on off Otherwise, I would recommend it to have it on high. And now we have done every settings on advanced controls. So we go back one more time and we can see what we have on picture options. And here we see noise reduction off, MPEG off, smooth gradation high, motion I care off, true motion off. Um, and these settings I use off, but you can also use Cinema Clear. So that's the settings I'm using for uh, HDR content. So this is for movie HDR, it's it not Dolby Vision.